What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. Last we left off we did a lot actually. We went ahead and we tamed ourselves that sea dragon thing. I believe it's called a Glacus. Yeah, the Glacus, that name thing right there. Let's close that so we can open this. Yeah, we tamed this guy here. This is this is a really cool creature in my opinion. I think it was, like, really cool. It was like a 180 or something like that. That was really cool. And we also tamed this guy here, the Ambulocetus. That whale dog-looking thing, the terrestrial whale. Which looks really cool. I'm just gonna leave you parked here for now. Just to be on the safe side. And, uh, oh, I also did some more off-camera work. So if we look in here... I tamed up a couple of penguins while we were here, and we got this female pyromane here. This is our organic polymer farm. So hopefully we get organic polymer and whatever. Don't tell me we killed it too soon. Okay, we got three organic polymer. That's good anyway. Alright, so what we're going to do today is some cave adventures. Okay, you keep doing you. We're going to do some cave adventures today, because I really need to get a move on with those artifacts if we want to do the bosses and whatever. In time for aberration. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this in time for aberration. And there's a lot more I want to do on this. So, we got that. We've got two of the artifacts already. I believe the second artifact is... Uh, let me up the gamma so I can see... The second artifact, I believe, is in the vault. Yeah, we do. Artifact of the pack. We got the artifact of the pack and whatever artifact this is. The artifact of the hunter. I believe for the gamma boss, we need six of the seven artifacts here. I'm not 100% certain. But we do need, like, a bunch of artifacts. I'll make, like, a whole room that's, like, dedicated to the artifacts. I'm running out of space in the main base. So I'll just make a whole room dedicated to the artifacts at some point. Actually, I could even use the second floor. Alright, so we will need, like, polymer for this. If we have, or not polymer, um, obsidian, I do believe. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. Right now, let's, uh... Get ready for the cave. We do need grappling hooks. Because the cave did say, don't go in without grappling hooks. We're going to the snow cave up north. So in order to get grappling hooks, let's learn grappling hook. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, stone arrow, cementing paste, metal, and fiber, whatever else we got. We can make another 12. I don't think we need that many grappling hooks, but we should be good enough. Alright, so altogether we should have 22 grappling hooks. There we go. We should be good to go. Alright. I think we also need... Should I take some kibble just in case I find a high level spino? I'll take some kibble. We'll take about 12 kibble. Just in case. I'm gonna need the darts though. Actually, you know what? No, we won't take the kibble. We won't tame anything. We'll just uh, go into the cave and see what happens. Right, let me just put this away, because that's not as good. Put that away. Alright, I think we should be good to go. Alright, we got the Dinosuchus. Mufasa. You're coming with me, buddy. And you know who else is coming with me? Because there is water. There is a water passageway that we need to cross in order to get to the actual cave. We'll bring the Nothosaurus with us. The Nothosaurus can come with us... And then we'll go from there. Alright, let's take the owl griffin over to the snow. And then we'll go from there. So what we need to do, where we need to go, is 18, 7, 29, 7. 18, 29, I do believe. So it's like all the way in the snow biome. I think it's like at the, the northern part of the snow biome, I do believe. We'll head over there. And see if we could find, like, an artifact. I believe it's the artifact of the Clever that's in there. I believe. So what we'll do is we'll have the Pyromane on our shoulder for, like, the underwater parts. 
And then for the um, the land parts, we'll use the pyromane. And I do have some grappling hooks with me, don't worry. I brought grappling hooks, so we should be good to go. That's a level 50 Dinosuchus. I'm just looking around, seeing what we got. Alright, guys. I had to watch a video to see if I could find this damn cave. We found it. It's right over here. I think this is it. Alright, Owl Griffin. Luna, you did a good job. Now let's switch over to Mufasa. And here we go. This is the real cave adventure. It took me... 45 minutes to find this cave. Yeah, see, I, I always have a hard time finding these caves. Now, I've never done these caves before, so... I wouldn't know anything. Alright, we don't have any creatures in here so far. I think this... might be the water bit. So let's go ahead and... This is probably where the gecko would have come in handy. I did not mean to craft a Trank Arrow. I wanted to take out my Nothosaurus. There we go. Which doesn't really have a name. If you manage to make it out of this cave alive, you'll earn your name. Alright, there we go. I think this is the part where we and the Nothosaurus part ways. Switch back to the Pyromane. And let the real adventure begin. Already we've got Yetis and Wolves. Like I was expecting. There's a blue yeti. I kind of want it. I want it. I want the yeti. Now, I don't know if there are any Prolovias up here. Alright, that just leads me back here, so... I'm guessing it's this way. Where these wolves are. Right, we'll check the Yeti out once we're done with this. Well, there's one of the artifacts. This is the artifact of the Devour. Now we just need the artifact of the Clever, I do believe. Now, I think there's a patch of water here. I think we do have to go back into the water for this. Alright, so Nothosaurus, this is where you come in. I think we do have to head back into the water. Don't know which way, but have we been here before? Not sure. I see a whole bunch of animals here. I don't think we've been here before. Yeah, I, I don't think we've been here before. Yeah, we're definitely... We definitely ran in a circle. But we're definitely in a different place. I think this is the area where you grapple. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with this area. We can jump down, and then this is where the grappling will come in when we need to get out of here. So I think this is where we need to be for the artifact. Once we figured it out, we were golden, but whatever. Yeah, it's just a hard time finding where everything is. Yeah, I don't remember this bit, so yeah, I think we are going in the right direction. There it is. The artifact of the clever. All right, and that's both artifacts collected. Now, we get out of here. That was... Once we found the artifacts, that was pretty easy, but, you know. Oh, let's jump. The hard part was finding the damn cave. That was the hard part. I, I can never find caves that easily on the first try. Even if I've been to a cave hundreds of times, I can never find a cave easily. Oh yeah, so this right here is where the grappling hook comes in. That's like the fourth max level direwolf I've seen. Alright. Alright, this is where the grappling hook comes in. Now, I don't typically use grappling hooks. 
how do you, um, it's not control, it's C, alright, alright, there we go, this is gonna be a little wonky, but I think we can do this, we made it up there, we made it in the end, alright, let's head back home, I know where to go from here, and we are officially back at base. Home sweet home. Alright. Let's take a look at our, um, yetis first. So we got a, a 100 and we got a 95. So the 100 had 14 points into health, 15 into stamina. Oxygen food, no one cares. 18 into weight and 17 into melee. And then this one had 17 into health, 18 into stamina, oxygen food, no one cares. 13 into weight and 13 into melee. Alright. What was I about to do? Oh yeah. We should probably test out this one of our gigantic. We'll take the level 100 out. Never mind, we're over encumbered. Alright, let's uh... I guess we could put away the grappling hooks because we don't need those anymore. Alright, that's better. We can jump, right? Yeah, we can jump. Okay. We're a blue boy. We are a blue boy. I kind of wish the Gigantopithecus... Yep, yeah, this is pretty much what it is. I wish the Gigantopithecus acted more like an actual gorilla rather than a Bigfoot. I guess Bigfoot was more marquee value, but... I really wish it acted more like an actual gorilla. 330 damage by default. That's not bad, actually. Alright, Mr. Yeti, I guess you could... You can park over here, I guess. Alright, Rex. You get out from over there. Actually, I think I might put you in storage. Alright, let's finish off with more breeding. So what do we got for today? Argentavis. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six Argentavis. Let's see what we got. 199. I think you did lose. You lost the melee. I think you lost both. Lost the melee. Yeah, it's supposed to be 32 points in the health and 36 points in the melee. Alright, so if we can get a 222 male, then that'd be good. 223. You lost the health. We'll kill them. Alright, let's go to Dinosuchus. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 18, 24. We got 25 Dinosuchus eggs. We need a 234 to have a mutation. 234. It's a melee mutation, but it. No, wait, it's a weight mutation. Never mind. It is a female, though. What about 236? No? Okay. Kill all of them. Vectospinus. We got 20 of those, so we'll hatch them. We need a 215. 215. Alright, we got a male. Let's see the female. You were a melee, I do believe. That's a triple melee mutation. And you are... I believe that's a health. That is a health mutation. Let's go. Alright. We got a double, triple melee mutation and a double health mutation. I might keep you just for show. You know? What about 217? Nope. Okay. The rest of you will kill. And then last but not least, the Rexes. We've got 24. We need a 250. 250. It is a female. And it was a food mutation. Alright. No luck on the Rexes, though we did get... Another health mutation for the Vecta Spinus. So now we'll need a 217. Which means you will be going into retirement. Alright, so option behavior enable mating. Change name to H2M2. Alright, so we managed to get two health mutations and two melee mutations with the Vecta Spinus. But yeah, and with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.